Hello, hi everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we're going to be discussing the new Fenty perfume, which is called Bridgetown. And I'm going to be basically leaving my review and my thoughts on it, whether I like it or not. So if you want to hear what I have to say, just stay tuned. I got the perfume Thursday, and I put in my order Tuesday. That's what it was. I put in my order Tuesday, and it came to me Thursday evening, which is pretty quick for two days. Um, this is what the box looks like. I mean, everyone has seen the box, but I just want to show you guys. This is what it looks like. It's a nice quality box. Um, mine didn't come with the picture like everyone else, so I kind of feel some type of way about that because I really like Rihanna. But anyway, this is how it comes out. If I can pull it out, it's hard to pull this thing out. But yeah, this is... That was going to fall. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It slides like this, like that. Very pretty. And you just take it out. So this bottle is a 2.5 ounce, which is a pretty good size, especially for the price. I know a lot of people is complaining about the price of it, but that's generally the average price of a little perfume. So I don't know what else to tell you. But anyway, this is what it looks like. And it also has the Fenty logo up here. And it has Fenty around here, the label as well. So it's a pretty bronze color. Let's get into the scent. This scent is unique. It's not really my favorite Gourmand Sweet scents. Um, Rihanna did say this is a unisex scent, which I kind of believe it, but to me it seemed like it's more on the feminine side, at least on my skin. Um, I know it does have blueberries, and I do smell the blueberries in it, and another citrus smell. I'm not a real big fan of citrus, however, this is pretty good. Let me spray it on my skin again. So when I first like spray it, I smell the blueberries. And then eventually, that's when like the floral start to kick in before the musk. Because it does have musk in here too. So after that, I feel like a few minutes in, eventually you start to smell the floral scents. And then eventually you're going to smell like a musky, woody scent. Which is kind of kicking in a little bit <coughs> now. <laughs> to me, it's pretty good. Um, it's different, so I have to get used to um, wearing this. I wore this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I would say that the longevity is pretty decent. It's like five hours. Um, this is subtle. So when you first spray this, it projects. It's loud. It's kind of out there. But then it seemed like after 10, 15 minutes, it kind of just gets a little subtle. That's the only thing I think that I don't like about this because I want it to stay how it smells. You know, I want it to smell the blueberries and I wanted it to stay there instead of, I don't know, instead of like a burst of blueberries and then all of a sudden it kind of just dies down into a musky scent. However, to me, it doesn't stink. It's just unique, if that makes sense. And see, now it's starting to almost be like a skin scent and I don't like that. I like mine to kind of project. But, however, when I went to work and when I went out with my friend, she said she did smell it and she did like it, even though I couldn't smell it on me anymore. I would say if you're thinking this would be like a beast mode, for me, it's not. It's not beast mode at all. It starts off that way and then by 10 minutes, it like dies down. With this perfume, you can overspray. You're not going to kill yourself, even though I just coughed earlier. But this one you can overspray because, like I said, it's not a beast mode at all. And I like it because it's different. However, would I buy this again? I don't know. I have to keep wearing it to see if I want to. I'm going to wear it and I'm going to use it because I bought it. And obviously because it's Fenty. However, I don't know what it is. It's not that I don't like it. I think it's just different and I have to just get used to it. And then I don't like how it just goes away. Not goes away, but it like dies down a lot. Because when you first smell it, like you can smell it throughout the room. And then 
like now I have to put my nose to it in order to smell it. I can't smell it if I'm moving my hand like this. But this is one of those like subtle, you kind of have to be close in a person's space to smell it type of thing. So if you like perfume that's like that, I would say get this. If you don't like um, Marc Jacobs smells or any type of, I don't know, fruity, gourmand, I guess you would say maybe childish scents, as some people will put it then you might like this i would say one out of ten i will rate this a seven i'll rate this a seven maybe if they came with a travel size i might buy it again because sometimes i like to switch up my scents instead of smelling the same all the time however i can't always see myself just grabbing this for some reason the smell i would say seven out of ten the longevity i would say six out of ten I feel like it should be better especially for Uda perfume I feel like it should be more out there if that makes sense and I think because of the color of the bottle I think we was expecting something more dark and intense where this was more like oh okay it's pretty light and fruity but then it disappears at least on me I do like the packaging a lot I feel like it's pretty um i know a lot of people were complaining about the top being plastic i don't care i feel like the bottle is glass it might be plastic but it looks like it's glass and it feels heavy so it feels like good quality however that's pretty much i think all i have to say about this i have to keep trying it and wearing it and see what happens maybe i have to put vaseline on well see i shouldn't have to do that i shouldn't have to do that but um yeah that's pretty much all i have to say i didn't really want to make a super long video you know how people making review videos and it's like 40 minutes and it's like you're reviewing one thing for 40 minutes why maybe it's just me but i just feel like it's unnecessary so yeah like i said i'll give this an overall for everything it still be a 6.5 or a 7 out of 10 not because it stinks but one is unusual for me and then two, like the, the longevity is just, it's just not there for me. Like, there's no way. I just feel like it should last longer. But I do like it. Do I absolutely adore and love it and just, I'm going to rave about it? No. Because I still have some ones that I have in my collection that I like more than this. But it's not horrible. It's not where I want to sell this to someone, you know? So, I would say 7 out of 10. I would say get a sample of this before you get a big bottle like me. But I like the blind buy, so that's why I did it. But I would say um, try that first before you get it. And then, if you like it, I will purchase the big bottle. Just so that you don't feel like, oh my gosh, I wasted this amount of money for this perfume. And I don't really care for it. So that's my advice to you. But anyway, how do you feel about Rihanna's uh, new perfume? What do you think about it? Do you think that it should be, um, the projection should be better? Do you feel like um, it's perfect? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you feel like it's overrated because of Rihanna? Leave your questions down below and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye.